Hi, Chalawam. Chalawam and first and foremost, I would like to begin this lesson by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh. Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Raka Kodash, and double honor city apostles and elders of Great Millstone that rule well. Peace, blessings, and salutations to the elect scattered across the four corners of the globe. All right, pushing this word out in sincerity and in truth. All right. And um, this is Amma um, One from the Great Millstone Camp coming back to do another lesson through the Holy Spirit and power of Yahweh by Shamia Washai. Alright, and as I say, through the Holy Spirit, which is what the Heavenly Father Yahweh gave unto his men in these last days to preach, to teach, to exhort, alright, to prophesy, to break down the scriptures, alright. We have that we have that spirit. Okay? That that separate spirit from the world. Alright? So the name of this lesson would be mainly touching on the Raka Kodash which the Heavenly Father Yahweh Ba Shami Awashai gave unto his men in these last days, alright? Because without this spirit, without this we that we have, this knowledge, this understanding, this wisdom of the word that we have, we would not be woken up. We would not be able to go out on the highways and the byways. We need the Holy Spirit to do that. We need it. it, it there is the only how it could be efficient. The word efficient, all right, means the work. It means, well, I will get the word efficient. But in fact, I will get the word efficient one time. Boom, boom. Let's see if I have Google up here. Alright, Google. Because it's truly spirit are doing this lesson. Type of the word efficient. Efficient. Well, efficient means of a system or machine achieving maximum pr productivity with minimum wasted effort or expense. All right, two of a person working in a well organized and competent way and well organized, ordered, all right, methodical, systematic, structured. This is the only how the word could be structured, the word could be well organized. It's only through the Holy Spirit, the, the Spirit. That the Lord sends upon his men. How and how does he do that? He sends upon he sends it upon his men by using angels. Alright? By using the angels. And very special men like the Apostle Paul himself. Yahweh Shai himself came to that man and woke him up. Alright? Gave him the Holy Spirit. And then through other men we receive it through angels through divine um inspiration the, the heavenly father who opens up our our mind through them through them angels to give us that spirit that holy spirit it's like um high priest abba bivens all right how was he able to how was he able to figure out or come to the understanding that the so-called Latinos and Native American Indians are Israelites as well? Because the idea of so-called Negroes being Israelites was always there, but how was he able to come to the understanding? Alright? The Lord used the angels to open his mind. Alright? To open his pineal gland. As we would say, where spirit dwell, and 
and give him that revelation. <coughs> All right. Let me get the book um Revelation chapter three. Right? Um and verse twenty it says Behold I stand at the door and knock. Right? It says, If any man and that door is your, is your mind, and how holy Lord standing at the door and knocking, as you constantly hear any teachings, hear any word, hear any word, hear any word over and over, and you ain't make the step yet to get into it, but I would just be playing on your mind like it knocking. It says, If any man would hear my voice, right? Okay, meaning you understand what you see because the word here is here. Hey. Right. So the word <coughs> here comes from the Greek Aku. I'll play it. Strong's G191 Aku. Aku. And it means to be endowed with the faculty of hearing, not deaf to hear, to attend, to consider what is or has been said to understand to understand to perceive the sense of what is said the main the main point is to understand all right to comprehend to understand if you will understand his voice meaning understand the doctrine and what is the understanding of the lord Magia precept Exodus chapter thirty five. All right, right. Right, Exodus 35 and 35, and it says, Them hath he filled with wisdom of heart to work all manner of work and of in, and the engraver and the cunning workman and of the embroider in blue. Uh, yeah, that is it. Wait, that was the next one. Let's know. Let's be with me a little bit. Let me get this understanding. This is it, Exodus 31 and 3. <laughs> yeah, it's 31, 31, but I, I missed that. It's 35, 31. I know it's in 35 too, but I missed that one. It's Exodus chapter 31, verse 3. It says, And I have filled him with the Spirit of God. See? <laughs> in wisdom, and in understanding, and in knowledge, and in all manner of workmanship. And that is it. To work efficient, to work to make the work efficient, you need the Spirit of God. And what is the Spirit of God? It says it is, it's in wisdom, understanding, and in knowledge. Understanding, if any man will hear my voice, meaning to understand, meaning you get the Spirit. And how does you get, how do you get the Spirit? The Heavenly Father sends his angels to open up them, that, that, that part of your mind that was being sealed off because right now those who cannot receive the spirit <coughs> they have something sealed in their minds right and we will get it exodus 35 31 i didn't see that one i forget it was 31 sorry is exodus chapter 35 verse 31 it says and he had filled them with the spirit of god in wisdom in understanding and in knowledge and in all manner of workmanship so for the workmanship to go efficient, and you get back the word efficient, the word workmanship comes from the Hebrew, malaaka, malaaka, occupation, work, business, occupation, business, property, work, something, done or made, workmanship, service, use, public, business, political, religious. Alright, and you see? 
Never mind them, they more focusing on them. You see? Um, from the same as age 4397 property properly deputyship i.e. ministry to so that is why any ministry to be efficient in the ministry to be methodical to be we get back some of the meanings for efficient to be um, to achieve maximum productivity with minimum wasted effort or expense I one of a person working in a well organized and competent way to work in a well organized and competent way to work logical coherent well regulated well run well ordered orderly business like see workmanship business like systematized streamlined to be productive to be effective all right you have to have the Rakha Kodash and this workmanship here was talking about some men the Lord gave the understanding to do the construction for the tabernacle all right and the curtains and all these things in the in the tabernacle that what the Lord was talking about. Okay, for the for the building of the tabernacle in the wilderness. But the work is to build this tabernacle as well. This is the this is the tabernacle, the true tabernacle which the Lord pitched, and not man. Let me get that too. That is in Hebrews. All right, Hebrews. Boom, boom, boom. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Hebrews, eh? Hebrews, I believe that is chapter 7. Chapter 8. Yeah, yeah. Right, Hebrews 8 and 2. It says, A minister, see ministry, you know, read that, of the sanctuary of the true tabernacle which the Lord pitched and not man. So to build this tabernacle, you must be efficient on it. And you see, <coughs> Just as the first tabernacle, the first tabernacle, you had, um, you had men who had the spirit of the Lord and wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. That is the spirit of the Lord ultimately. That is what it really is. It's wisdom, the knowledge, and the understanding of the Holy Scriptures. Alright? That is where it starts with. And then it, it could increase when you have a different level of spiritual spirit at the spirit of the Lord on your which is what the when you gain spiritual power. All of them thing is different spirits attributes at the spirit of the Lord. Alright? But as for now, what we have is the wisdom, knowledge and the understanding of the holy scriptures. Okay? That is what we have as of right now. The Lord gave us that. And how did he bring that to us? He brought it to us by sending his angels to work on our minds. And as I say, like the Apostle Paul himself, he he received it. Yahweh our Lord came to him direct. The the the, the Lord <laughs> so that was a special man. But the Lord still would, you know, would use the angels to you had to get revelations, all these things. But yeah, I was shy. Yeah, I was shy. Came to that man direct and gave him the spirit. <clears throat> but back in Revelation 3 and 20, it says, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hear my voice and open the door, understand his voice, right? You mean any had the spirit on you? Because they ask those who will not have the spirit in them and what blocking them. As I say, I will get a priest up here in the book of Isaiah, the sixth chapter. Isaiah chapter six. And um, 
and it goes all the way back to Genesis as well. But I'm reading Isaiah 6 and 8. It says, And I also I heard a voice of, of the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send and who will go for us? Then said I, Here am I, send me. And he said, Go and tell this people, Hear ye indeed, but understand not, and see ye indeed, but perceive not. <laughs> indeed but on the sun not and see indeed but perceive not make the heart of this people fat and make their ears heavy right make their ears heavy right wait wait and shut their eyes lest they see with their eyes and hear with their ears convert and and be healed all right and what what causing them to not see ultimately there's an angel in the way blocking them from the tree of life and the lord said that there so the lord brought it back all right the lord brought um removed that angel from some brothers so they could and send the holy spirit upon brothers because that's the only how you could attain back to that, that way, that way to life through the Holy Spirit, which the Lord sent upon brothers, which he sent it to the angels, different ministries, different gifts, different... All right, we get the Apostle Paul break it down. Um, Genesis 3, but you see, Yahweh, our Lord, he had the full... The full, the, as the scripture said, the Lord gave it the spirit, not by measure unto him. There's men on the earth, they will have measures of the spirit. Some men might have this gift, that gift, you know, three gifts, four gifts. But yeah, our shy, our Lord in the flesh had not the spirit by measure given unto him, meaning he had the full, the fullness of the spirit. Which is what we trying to attain unto. Jesus book of Genesis 3 and 24 it says so he drove out the man and he placed at the east of the garden cherubims which is which is mighty ones and a flaming sword which turned every way to keep the way of the tree of life meaning there was an angel placed to keep you or any man from that way that way that wisdom knowledge and understanding to um, retain eternal life all right and it increased in the sense this wasn't just for eternal life the lord actually blinded men all right it, the lord blind he blind you he, 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 that many though just didn't want to know like the two thirds he just don't want them to know anything concerning the scriptures concerning the wisdom knowledge and understanding you don't want him to know anything. See what he now say? See indeed but perceive not. It are people the Lord just do not want to get us. And what is blocking them? Just them, them, them same cherubims because this way is the way to the tree of life. And it says that in Proverbs. Let me look for it. Proverbs 11 and 30 it says the fruit of the righteous is a tree of life and he had when it sold his wife Proverbs 15 and 4 a wholesome tongue is a tree of life but perverseness therein is a breach in the spirit all right a wholesome tongue 
Let me just go you in, you know that would hold something. The word wholesome come from the Hebrew Marapa Marapa Health, healing, cure Right? Healing, cure The cure for that um, that what was placed upon us to bring me back to health it's a wholesome tongue, a, a, a pure tongue. And what, 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 what is that? What is that pure tongue? The words of the Lord speaking. The words of the Lord in sincerity and in truth. And how, how could you speak that? If the Lord, that's why they say, how shall they preach except they be sent? And how shall they hear without a, without a preacher? You can't do it except the Lord send you. And when He send you, is when He wake you up to the truth and He open your mind to that wisdom, to that knowledge, and to that understanding of the word, which is the Holy Spirit, which is ultimately Yahawashai, Yahawabashem, Yahawashai Spirit. Because when you're, when you're going to the essence of the Spirit, the word holy and spirit, holy means separate, severed, alright, pure, right? When you're going to the the, 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 the the spirit, the Holy Spirit, a separate spirit, a severed spirit, a pure spirit. Separate from what? Separate from them rest of unclean spirits that is out here. And how would you be set how the, how that spirit go and rest upon you? If you if you're filthy. It cannot because that is why saying was the Holy Spirit of wisdom will flee the seat. I believe, I believe that is wisdom of Solomon if I'm mistaken it cannot dwell in 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 um Wisdom of Solomon 1 and 5. It says, For the holy. Spirit of discipline. Will flee the seed. The seed that is where the holy spirit is. It's a disciplined spirit. A spirit that has bring discipline to us. In order for you to be a disciple. It will, it will flee the seed. And remove from thoughts that are without understanding. Because it's, it's an understanding spirit. Alright? It's, it's an understanding spirit. It's a loving, caring spirit. Because that is the attributes of Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai. And he only gives this to certain men. And he uses his messengers, which are the angels. Alright? The Ma'alak. The Ma'alakath. You see Ma'alak. Just the angels in the Hebrew, he uses them to go to men on the earth who seal from the foundation of the world, just the elect, and let them receive the Spirit. Give them that Spirit, the Holy Spirit of discipline. And that Spirit does make them men do holy things first thing it does make them do is to become holy so you see men start to separate themselves from the world because they have the separate spirit the set apart spirit from the world so they set their, themselves apart from the world and they start to move more wise they become disciplined to the words of the heavenly father all right because they get more understanding. Okay? So it says, we'll flee the seat and remove from thoughts that are without understanding and will not abide when unrighteousness cometh in. Because they're not pure. See, it can't dwell. And that is what the scriptures say. For thou art a pure eyes, Habakkuk 1 and 13. 
and canst not behold iniquity. Alright? Did that is the Lord's Spirit. Yahweh Ba'asham Yahweh Shai Spirit. That is sent forth on holy men on the earth. But they use a method. Everything has to have a method. It's a working process. A working is order. Alright? They use a method. Like, they come, they send angels. The Lord sends his angel, this brother, he waking up. He, he could be one of the elect. And the Lord sends his angel to open your pineal and bring the way of the true tree of life to you because that is the way of the tree of life. Alright? Once you have the Holy Spirit on you, you're on path to the tree of life you know, to eat of them fruits, which is righteousness, the fruits of the Spirit. Alright, you're on the path to eat of the fruits of the Spirit, which is from that tree. And we could get the fruits of the Spirit in the book of Galatians. Alright, and I will get it. Matter of fact, matter of fact, I'm going get No, no Holy Spirit anymore, but I just want. Galatians five twenty one. It says no, not that. Right. Galatians five and eighteen. It says, but if you be led of the Spirit, the Holy Spirit, you are not under the law. Right, because why you, you're not abiding in death, you're on path to the tree of life. Not that you wouldn't do the law, but if you stick within the law and the law alone and you omit the spirit, then you abiding and trusting in the flesh more than the spirit. And if you're therefore trusting the flesh more than the spirit, death will become you. It's simple, the fear in the spirit. And you have faith in your Abba Hashem, you have a shy, and you keep in the laws to the best of your ability. But you put in the spirit of the Lord on the forefront. You're not under the law. It says, Now the work of the flesh. No, no, no. Not there. <laughs> Galatians 5 and 22 says, But the fruit of the spirit, that the fruit come from a tree, which is ultimately that tree of life. Alright? Which is the righteous inside the Lord. Fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long suffering. You could eat of them fruits because you have the Holy Spirit of discipline upon you. Gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance. Again, such there is no law. All right. <clears throat> Again, such is enough. Not you, you, you can bring out a lot because the man on the right path. Then Romans eight and one applying to him. Psalms the thirty second chapter and the first verse applying to him. But that is that is what the holy that is what the holy spirit is as of right now. Alright, the Lord give you that spirit, but the spirit got to increase to be getting gifts such as healing, such as miracles, alright, such as strength to fight the enemies when they come. The Lord will increase it. Okay? <laughs> When this man fought, didn't he, didn't he not have the Spirit of the Lord upon him? Didn't it say that in the scriptures, what is his name? The book of Judges, the 15th chapter, I believe the last verse. Mm. 
it's snowing, it's behaving, man. Right, look at here. Judges 15 and 14, it says on, is Samson, right? It says, and when he came unto Lehi, the Philistines shouted against him. And the Spirit of the Lord, Yahweh, is an unclean spirit. That is the spirit of the world. That is the set apart spirit of the Lord. But these are different um, levels to it. Because it are levels. Right now, the level we reach, we understand the word perfectly. But then we go increase. The Lord will give me an increase. Again, more understanding, more understanding, more understanding, more understanding. Then the Lord could increase it into healing. You understand so much till you heal. It's like when you watch the Matrix with Neo. Neo keep growing and growing and growing and growing until you become the one. And levels now. As the Spirit of the Lord came mightily upon him, and the cords that were upon his arms became as flux that was burnt with fire, and his bands loosed from his hands. See? Strength. Yeah, that is part of the Spirit of the Lord. Power. Spiritual power. Okay? The Lord will give unto his men. He will do that. You have to believe that too. So, it have, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's like a, a, a broad spectrum of righteous things that you could do with the Spirit of the Lord. Right now, we, we have the understanding, the wisdom, the knowledge of the Holy Scriptures, which is to heal your minds first, baptize you, submerge you in the Word. <laughs> when the Heavenly Father see fit to give us more increase in the Spirit, we could do physical things on the earth. Beginning with the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, of course. They, may, they, will, be, they will be able to, a man come up, lame and cripple. Heal him right there. He blind. Say, believe in the Lord, you have a basham, you have a shy, and you heal him right there. You heal him. You start to see. All of that is parts of the spirit. Somebody come up. Alright, no brothers do that. Discernment. Right? Let me get that piece up and I will close. Um, book of 1 Corinthians, the 12th chapter. I'll start from the 4th verse. It says, Now there are diversities of gifts. But the same spirit. Now there are difference of administrations, but the same Lord, because it's Yahweh Bashem Yahushai spirit. It's the same Lord, the same spirit. It says And there are diversities of operations, but it is the same power which worketh in all, which worketh all in all, the same power. You might have this, you might have that. It's just Yahawashai, our Lord, he had all. And because if I read this, I'm going to prove our sin. Scripture says, prove all things. Look at John the third chapter and the 34th verse. Now, this is John. All right. The Baptist speaking of Yahawashai, our Lord. And I read from 27. It says, and John answered and said, a man can receive nothing except it be given him from heaven. Speaking of Yahawashai, right? You go in and speak of Yahawashai. Inside the speak, I mean, let me read. Salah. It says, Ye yourselves bear, wit bear me witness that I said, I am not the anointed, but that I am sent before him. He that had the bridge, he that had the bride is the bridegroom. But the friend of the bridegroom which standeth and heareth him rejoiced greatly because of the bridegroom's voice. This is my joy, therefore, is fulfilled. Saying, Yahweh is the bridegroom. He must increase, I, but I must decrease. He that cometh from above is above all. 
He that is of earth is earthly, and speaketh of the earth. He that cometh from the heaven is above all. Which is Yahweh Shai speaking of. Our Lord, and what he had seen and heard, that he testified, and no man receiveth his testimony. He that receives his testimony has set his seal that the Most High is true, because if you believe in Yahweh Shai, you would know Yahweh is true. For he whom the Most High sent, had sent, speaketh the words of the Most High, Yahweh, for Yahweh giveth not the Spirit by measure unto him. See that? He didn't get the Spirit by measure. But men on the earth, we will get the Spirit by measure. Our desire is to get the fullness of the Spirit as, as Yahweh Shai was, so we want to be. And we will do that once we continue. <laughs> so like, yeah, let me call him and come here. There's a... Um, yeah, our desire is to have a fullness of the Spirit as Yahweh Shai was, so we want to be. But the only way we could do that is if we be efficient in the ministry. It says, verse 6, it says, and 1 Corinthians 12 and 6, it says, and there are diversities of operations, but it is the same power which worketh in all, which worketh all in all. But a manifestation of the Spirit is given the end. Every man is a prophet. It, it, if any spirit manifests, it's for your prophet. It says, For to one is given by the spirit of the word of wisdom. Right? To the other, the word of knowledge by the same spirit. To the other, faith by the same spirit. To the other, gifts of healing by the same spirit. To the other, to another, the working of miracles, see, that is healing people. To another, prophecy. To another, discerning of spirits. To another, diverse kinds of tongues. To another, interpretation of tongues. But all these work it that one and the self same spirit dividing to every man severally as he will. See? So and my dear brother three poor three the three three years, miracles, healings, prophecies. Well I might have one. That is how it does go. It is it, how the Lord will, how He sees fit. But it's one spirit working in everybody. That Racha Kwadash. That severed spirit. Separate from the world which the Lord uses. He sends His angels to give you that. To open your mind up, to open His mind up, to open that one mind up, to do these things. Because there's an order. Alright? So hopefully with that, you've been edified. Until the next time, I'll give all praises on and glory to Yahweh. Ba'asham Yahweh Shai. Ba'asham Rakakodash. Shalom.